Welcome to the Vital Tears Blood Collection Facility Onboarding and Education Program. Vital Tears was founded in 2015 with the mission to provide convenient access to autologous serum tears for patients across the United States. As one of our blood collection partners, you help us bring this life-changing treatment to patients across the country. Vital Tears are personalized eye drops that are made for each patient from their own blood serum, and our program makes it convenient for patients to access these drops. Doctors order Vital Tears for their patients using our online portal. Our patient services team receives the order and contacts the patient to help them find the closest blood collection facility to them. When the blood draw is complete, the blood is shipped to our lab in Kansas City, Missouri, where the tears are processed and shipped to the patient's home within 48 hours of the blood draw. Let's now discuss the specifics of Vital Tears blood collection. As one of our blood collection facilities, you will receive blood draw kits to streamline the blood draw process. Your facility will receive four or 10 kits in each shipment. Please note that each kit has an expiration date on the outside of the box, and it's important to use the kits with the earliest expiration date first. Kit inventory is site-specific, so please do not transfer kits from one site to another without informing Vital Tears. This will allow us to keep your inventory correct and automatically ship additional kits when your inventory gets low. When you receive your kits, please place the gel packs in the freezer. Gel packs must be frozen for a minimum of 48 hours before they can be used. It's important to note that the gel packs are larger than most and have been specifically validated for Vital Tears draws. You will receive a requisition for blood collection for each Vital Tears patient. You may choose to receive the form via fax or email. The patient may also bring the form to the appointment. The form will include information to verify the patient's identity, the physician's contact information, number of tubes that should be drawn, post-collection instructions, and packaging instructions. It is important to note that the number of tubes required will not be the same for every Vital Tears patient. Please be sure the form matches the sample form provided in your welcome email. If the form has been altered in any way, please contact Vital Tears Patient Services immediately. Let's now go over some important instructions for drawing blood for Vital Tears patients. Before beginning the blood draw, you must verify the patient's identity matches the name on the form. Fill each tube completely. If you cannot fill the required number of tubes completely or lose vacuum pressure during the draw, please draw additional tubes to make up for the requested blood volume. Do not open and combine tubes to create a full tube. Any signs of tube tampering will result in the tube being discarded. Please do not cover the manufacturer's label on the blood tube. The lot number and expiration date must be visible so the Vital Tears technicians can record the information. Each tube must be labeled with two patient identifiers as well as the date and time of collection. Be sure to complete and include the collection details form for each shipment. This form includes fields for the phlebotomist to fill out to ensure that the blood tubes match the patient's identity. When you have completed the blood draw, do not centrifuge the tubes. Simply draw the blood, pack the specimen for shipment for the packing instructions, and ship to Vital Tears. We will provide labels for FedEx overnight shipping. Do not return any unused tubes to Vital Tears. Additional tubes can be added to your inventory and used by your lab. If you need additional FedEx labels, please contact our blood collection facility support team. All Vital Tears draws should be shipped out the same day the blood has been collected. If you miss the FedEx shipment or cannot ship the same day for any other reason, please contact Vital Tears patient services immediately. You should not charge the patient for the blood draw or ask for any insurance information. Invoices should be sent to Vital Tears Accounting and should include the date of service, patient name, patient date of birth, and the fee for the blood draw. Invoices should be sent monthly. We are here to support you for all Vital Tears blood draws. Please do not hesitate to reach out to patient services or blood collection facility support with any questions.